and go to V tools. This is the easiest machine I've seen to sharpen V tools. I pretty much just establish my same angle of attack and then make sure that the wing of your V tool is down flat on the diamond. Try to hold your angle there. I like to try to leave it till you can see the wire edge forming at the edge of the tool. Otherwise every time you pick your tool up and take a look to see how the grind is coming, when you go back you get a different angle. It's very hard to keep that same angle. So on the V tools, do one wing, go over, do the other side, same way. After you get both wings ground, I've still got a little shiny spot on this one. After you get both sides of the wings of your V-tool ground, then you have to treat the bottom of it like it's a very small gouge. And just roll the bottom. You've got a little thickness of metal there that, that you've got to get rid of from the, where your fresh grind is to the inside of the cutting edge. And that's the problem where people have all their trouble with sharpening V-tools. You don't want to go too far on this or you get through to the inside then you'll have a little opening and you'll have to grind off just stand your tool up flatten off the end and start all over and grind her back down Back to the strop, I just kind of roll the tool over. Nice to have a small piece of leather that you can get to the inside of your V-tool. This one isn't quite the right thickness. Uh, or a buffing wheel to buff the inside. Uh, one of the floppy wheels will conform to the shape of your tool and get the inside. See how this is cutting? I like to watch the bottom of my V on my uh, cut from the V tool. See if you have a nice clean cut. If you don't have any tears, you know your tool's good and sharp. I also just have over here just a real small uh, buffing wheel. It's an old, like a Dremel shoe polisher. It's been converted over. You can just buff your tool real quick. And that's generally all it takes to get that inside edge. One other model of the sharpener that I have, just with a single disc. I list these on eBay and this does all the same thing that the double does just by a matter of lifting off the strop. Got a little spacer wheel to make up for where the washer is. This one has a spacer behind it so I don't need that. And stack any grit that you want and end up with your leather strop. Everything works just the same way as the double. Just a little cheaper way to do the tool and in case you do use a tool holder like this crocker tool for v-tools which will help you get a factory looking grind by having the single shaft you have a little bit of a platform on the machine to rest the tool holder on so you can rock your v-tool back and forth take a look at your grind go right back to the exact same angle these are pictured on my ebay listing under chip chap tom and Tom's knife massager, but I do not sell these tools. Uh, I get these from Progress Tool in California if somebody's interested in ordering one of these. So I guess that's about all I have to show you. Thanks for stopping by.